That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Watts is finally back, and we're gonna see what we can learn from Garrett Watts waking up at 5 a.m. for a week, and there's a lot of information in this video that you don't wanna miss. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And, and if you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, I don't know what you're doing with your life, baby. I have just posted that the pre-order is now available for my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety. A lot of you who are already following me, you know that I've been working on this book. So the official release date for the ebook is June 29th, but you can pre-order it so the second it drops, boom, it's in your hand. So that link will be down below if you would like to take a look at it. And yes, 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 for everybody who's asking, yes, there will be an audiobook format. I do not know when, it'll probably be around that time, but make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter so you don't miss out, all right? So yeah, anyways, Garrett Watts just came back after months and months and months of being gone, and I might do a follow-up video because some of you found my channel from an old Garrett Watts video I did when um, he was getting help uh, for his hoarding and everything like that, and we're talking about accountability and depression and everything, so I might make a follow-up video to talk about just kind of the depression aspect of this whole thing. But anyways, in this video, I just wanna talk about, you know, what we can learn from Garrett Watts' actual video. So, those of you who haven't watched it yet, that'll be linked down below as well, but check it out. Garrett is a hilarious dude, and I'm glad he's back. As always, I hope he starts uploading more again. But anyways, first thing I wanna talk about before I jump into showing some clips and everything like that is talking about the importance of sleep. Like, oh my God, sleep is so, so, so important. But there's a balance. Like, for any of you out there who are struggling with depression, sleep, all right? Make sure you are getting your seven to eight hours of sleep. Like, did you know, did you know? So one of the scales that they use to measure depression is called the Hamilton scale, okay? So this scale, you know, there's plus and minus and everything like that, and there's certain things that you could do that will move you up or down that scale. So antidepressant medications, on average, move you about one and a half points in a positive direction on a Hamilton Hamilton scale, okay? So pharmaceuticals move you one and a half points on the Hamilton scale. Do you know how much sleep moves you on the Hamilton scale? Four freaking points, baby, all right? So get your sleep under control. If you can start getting your sleep under control, you will begin to feel less depressed, all right? It is just science, baby. But after watching a bunch of these videos, they had some rules to live by, like a code of conduct if you're gonna start doing this. Do not touch your phone for the first hour of being awake. Go outside every morning, you get the sun, you get the oxygen, and there's something about like melatonin or skin or something, I don't know, but they say it's good. All right, so that clip right there, that clip, yes, absolutely. Like, being outside will help you with your sleep. So there's a there's an excellent book as well as a workbook that goes along with it. It's called The Upward Spiral. If you're into like neuroscience and everything like that and wanna learn how to get out of your own depression, like pick up this book. I'm currently working out of the workbook that recently came out. I'll link those down in the description below. But anyways, like if you struggle with getting sleep, like go outside, go outside at least once a day. Like. Like take a walk around the block or like Garrett does later in this video, like go outside, do some gardening, right? Maybe you like read books or something, do it outside. Because what happens is when you get natural sunlight, when you get that exposure to the sun, your, your body creates natural melatonin, all right? So melatonin isn't just those little pills that you could take. Melatonin is a chemical that the body actually creates. So when the sun goes down and starts to be nighttime, it's easier for you to fall asleep. So if you're somebody who struggles with insomnia, go outside at least once a day. And if you go for like a brisk walk or something like that, you'll also get the benefits of a little bit of exercise, which triggers things like endorphin, serotonin, dopamine, and all sorts of other stuff. So if you could do one thing a day, go for a little walk, maybe around the block, or maybe just like down to the coffee shop down the street. Rule two, accomplish one thing a day. That's it. Why so simple? Why not more ambitious? Because really ambitious isn't in my nature. And secondly, because I trust the new genie. So that's it. Two things. Wake up at 5 a.m., get one thing done a day. And then at the end of the five days, I'll reveal if it was life changing. So let's start day one right now. So that clip right there kind of ties in with what I was just saying. Yes, I absolutely love this idea. Like one thing a day, like anybody out there who struggles with depression, I cannot tell you the importance of this. Find one thing a day 
that will help you, right? Something that is productive, okay? And for some people who are struggling with depression, maybe that's just getting out of the bed and taking a shower, right? Like on my website, I just wrote a blog post about like, if you're depressed, bathe every day. And I just discussed, you know, getting uh, one goal done, getting something done, all right? And taking care of yourself is one of the biggest things, right? But find one thing. So I absolutely love how Garrett talked about that, like in this video, I think this is something that everybody should do. Like right now, if you're watching this video, pause this video and think of one thing that you could do. No, 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 no. Leave a comment down below. Let me know one thing, one thing you want to do a day to accomplish. So something else that's in that book, Upward Spiral, is when you set specific goals and you accomplish them, that will also help create serotonin in your brain, which will help to lessen your depression. So find one thing a day, all right? Whether it's cleaning the house, whether it's taking a shower, whether it's brushing your teeth, whether it's like whatever it is, hanging out with a friend, calling a friend, whatever it is, find one thing a day that you could do and let me know what it is down in the comments below. And I know this all sounds like a joke and I really wish it was. This is a, a real thing that sucks <laughs> that I have to do every time I need to wake up. The thing about this that sucks and this is just like the obvious thing, what a nightmare. Here's a reenactment of the hellscape of a sound that I wake up to when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Can I relate to this? Okay, so Gareth's whole thing about setting all these clocks, like just a real quick story, and some of you who are in recovery from addiction, you might be able to relate to this. So like my, my substances of choice were alcohol and prescription pain pills, but one of the things was I would just sleep through alarm. So something I had to start doing was kind of like what Garrett did in this video, like just so I can like, you know, get to work and stuff. I would set multiple alarms and everything like that, but now, I've been sober for coming up on seven years next week. And on my phone, when I have to wake up in the morning, like I still set like my alarm to go off every 10 minutes, all right? And if I have something extremely important to do, well now me and my beautiful girlfriend live together. But before that, I would like have people call me and I'd have my ringer on and everything like that. But yeah, do what you gotta do to wake up if you're a deep sleeper. Okay, this is dead, and this is why. Because this is loose. This one is worn out, and I didn't know. And because this is an actual piece of shit, the charge lasted for probably like a couple hours. <gasps> you wanna know what I was gonna do today? You know what, this is fitting. This is fitting. This sad little shit. Now, as far as that clip is this, like, so in my book, Rewire Your Anxiety, I have a few sections already where I talk about the benefits of having anxiety, all right? So like, something that we have to do if you're trying to set up a routine like this is like, triple check like triple check make sure things are plugged in make things make sure things are charged like i always mess around with tristan because like she lets her phone get down to like the red all the time and like if i'm below like god even like 70 percent i kind of freak out a little bit you know what i mean but like if you want to lessen your anxiety like triple check some things okay sometimes what i do when it comes to alarms just to make sure it's gonna work i set it for like a minute from now just to make sure before i fall asleep that everything is like functioning correctly oh wow cute <laughs> hey good morning i slept in a little bit today just a touch it's um 6 38 which hello <laughs> but you know what okay come on come on considering how day two went okay so sorry um today what am i doing so for those of you who didn't know i am now a certified life coach and something that i try to teach people um when they're working on goals or even their mental health or whatever it is is accountability right so when we're talking about goals we have to ask like how how are you going to keep yourself accountable okay now for some people you can keep yourself accountable but like in this instance where um garrett you know uh he slept in and things like that like i would recommend to a person like okay well your accountability for yourself isn't really working anymore you need to bring somebody else in on this so all this could be is like what I usually recommend to people is find somebody else who's trying to accomplish a goal and just say, yo, do you wanna be accountability buddies, right? And then you just check in. Every day you just check in with each other and you know, like for example, let's say it was Andrew in Garrett's case. Andrew would just message him, you know, that day and say, yo, did you wake up on time today? And he'd say, no, yes, whatever it is, right? Because sometimes we need 
more accountability because we can't trust ourselves to do the thing that we set out to do. So get yourself an accountability buddy. You know, you really should get your car checked out when that light's on there. That could be dangerous. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Real quick, I just thought this was funny. So, <laughs> so I worked in the car service industry for about six or seven years, and I always had people coming in with that light, all right? So that little yellow light with the exclamation point, that is a tire pressure warning light, all right? So always remember, your tires are kind of like hot air balloons, okay? When they get hot, they expand a little bit, but when the temperature changes, Changes, they actually lose a little bit of air and it is a law that all vehicles like after I think like 2003 or 2004 have to have these annoying little tire pressure sensors and they can be very very sensitive because you don't want to get a flat baby so anyways just do that go to a gas station go put some air in your tires Garrett you're welcome you need some air Oh my god, oh my god, I'm I'm so late. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss my plane to Japan because I'm an idiot. Wow, wow. Okay, I can't I never honk, but I had to because you won't move. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, okay, so if anybody out there struggles with anxiety, one of the biggest tips that I can give any of you, and it's something I'm gonna write about in the book as well, but something that helped me the most is quit causing your own anxiety, okay? Like Garrett rushing, because he's about to go on a two week trip to Japan, right? And he's like trying to get a sleep schedule set and he has an early flight and everything like that. Like do that the day before, okay? Because then you see he's like rushing to the airport, which can also, you know, you might get a speeding ticket, right? Or you might get in a car accident because you're driving recklessly, everything like that. So whatever it was, uh, actually the day before that, that's when he was doing the gardening, right? Yeah, he was doing the gardening. So in that instance, it's time to kind of prioritize things, right? Because sometimes, and this isn't a knock at Garrett, all right? This is just a little tough love for everybody out there. Sometimes being an adult is about doing what we need to do and not what we want to do. So in that specific scenario, I would have been like, all right, I want to do the gardening today, but I need to do the packing, all right? Because missing an international flight is absolutely no fun at all. Like my first international flight that I went on, my boss actually missed the flight for a similar reason. So anyways, like make sure you handle things, like give yourself plenty of time, like, Again, we cause a lot of our own anxiety. Like if you get anxious about being late, leave early, okay? Like I do my best to try to leave early places so that way if I hit traffic, if anything happens, like it's not going to affect me. And then like what it helps me out with is like it helps me out with my anxiety, it helps me out with my road rage. Like if I'm stuck in traffic and people are kind of driving like jerks, but I have plenty of time, it does not bother me. But if I'm in a hurry, now all of a sudden everybody's pissing me off and I wanna run people off the road. You know what I mean? So give yourself plenty of time, especially, especially when it comes to getting to the airport, baby. All right? But anyways, again, let me know down in the comments below, what is one thing, what is one goal that you wanna set yourself for yourself each day for, I don't know, the next week, the next month. That's something I wish Garrett would have talked about is like, is he going to continue that at least, right? Um, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below. What is something small and simple that you think you can accomplish on a daily basis? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below. All right, but anyways, make sure you stay tuned because I will be doing another video talking a little bit about consistency and depression and some things like that in the aspect of, you know, Garrett Watts coming and going and all those kind of things. So stay tuned. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram Instagram and Twitter where I just posted about the pre-sale going on for Rewire Your Anxiety, which is also linked down in the description below and in the pinned comment, all right? And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And don't forget, if you're a patron, you get free copies of all my books, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.